Hey, what's up guys? This is Tom Tom here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new figure to show you. This is the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Leader Class Gavatron. And so this guy appears in the first is the 1986 Transformer the movie and for this new trilogy he appears in Transformer Earthrise as a future version of Megatron coming back to tell Megatron something. So here we have is the classic Galvatron in his 86 design and I know that this is somewhat of a way of for Takara slash Hasbro to complete their G1 re-innovate line of figures since we have some other as a Studio Series 86 but then we have some as Kingdom. So here he is and I must say this is a really nice figure from all angles. He looks really bulk up and makes that he got a really sense of a dictator, a warlord and I really enjoy that. And especially with this new version of Galvatron here, you have a matrix of leadership comes with him. So this is a chain piece and we have a matrix. And I'm gonna check that out and look at it specifically. So here we have the chains. The chains are made from rubbers and they are molded quite nice. And of course, we have the matrix and the matrix can be removed. Just pulling it out is quite tight. And this is the same matrix that we have got with a lot of Optimus Prime figures and Hot Rod. And that is essentially the same thing. So, but with this version, we don't have the clear blue colors. But instead, we have a painted blue on it. So yeah, it is nice for a accessories. And now we finally understand the reason for it being hollow is that so it can be plugged into the chain. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use the matrix from the Earthrise Optimus and plug it in. So as you can see, it's completely fit and that is really nice. So up on the body, the first thing to notice is that he got a lot of weathering on the chest section and the forearm section. And personally, I know that the Siege Earthrise line has always been famous for its way of weathering with the figures. But with Galvatron right here, I really enjoy this because it is just enough amount of weathering and especially on the chest you just highlight all the curves and all the lines up on the chest and that is really really nice and I really enjoy that aspect of him and talking about the face a little bit he got a painted silver face with the helmet being purple it's, it's the same for the colors and he got a painted red eyes which is really menacing and I really enjoy this so for the face comparison I'm gonna bring in my old Siege Megatron over here so you can see the face as you can see the face shape is quite similar, but for Gavatron, it just looks more aged, aging and older than Megatron. And also the eye section is slightly bigger than Megatron, thus giving him a more menacing look. And one thing I got to say about this mold that a lot of people quite off is that for the chest section and the shoulder section, because unlike the old Megatron, this guy got a kind of differently kind of shoulder armor. Because instead of having this two piece, onto the shoulders, just move onto his chest section and thus making the arms look more muscular and strong. And I really enjoy this arm right design right here. It is really strong and just look how thick he is. And also, if we turn him around, you can see this guy has minimal backpack. So, but then again, with this old Megatron design, we do have some flaws, which is the rail on the back, the rail on the back of the arms. Sometimes just does get into the way and it looks quite odd in my opinion and there's no way to fully tap them in. Now moving on to, the, uh, to his torso, like I said, this is really nice purple and you got even got a Decepticon logo onto his chest in a different shade of purple. This is more than pink than purple. And we got some app section, which is red and silver. This is all got painted in and it is really nice, really nicely done. And moving down to the waist, we got some waist skirt armor here, some movement over here and that just be it. Then the leg is really giving me the oh damn. I mean like look at that, look at those details, they are really nice details. But then the black they chose with Galvatron right here is a, what a, a matte black color which is really nice. And I just love how they put the red highlight onto his knee between the purple and the black. That just really nice and some highlight red. And of course with the gray section here you got like a tons of details which is a really great opportunity for panel lining. I think this section would benefit greatly from the panel lining. And one thing, one, the last thing I'm going to talk about this guy in his overall detailing will be the Fusion Cannon. Personally, this is the old classic Gamatron Fusion Cannons, but in this version, somehow they decided to make the barrel a little bit too long in my opinion. It is made from a really nice clear orange plastic, but I would rather have the barrel shortened a little bit by one or two centimeters, which is which will be better. 
And other than that, you got some really nice detail. You got some silver paint, paint, painting on overall of the same old matte black plastic that we got. And that is really nice. And to attach it, it is attached onto him by the same kind of plugs that is available on all Kingdom figures. So you can pop it out and, and like put it anywhere you want. And so for the size comparison here, we have Gavatron next to the Earthrise Voyager class Starscream and Siege Voyager class Megatron. As for the height, he's clearly taller than Starscream, but not that much taller for Megatron. But he made up in the bulkiness of him. He looks a lot bigger than Megatron, and I mean a lot much, a lot bigger. And now here we have Gavatron next to Voyager class Studio Series 86 Hot Rod and Voyager class Optimus. And you can see the size is clearly a lot different than this, between these guys over here. For the accessories, you already know with the chain the matrix necklace. So I'm gonna put it onto his head right now for you to see. And he also comes with a pair of gun. And this is the gun here. And this is obviously the ship revenge which Unicron gave to Gavatron after after his rebirth from Megatron. And so there are a ship that is essentially a gun. So it's kind of flat and that's got some really nice detail on it and this got a handle. So that is pretty nice and to attach it, you can just plug it onto his hand like that. And there's the same, the same thing. And this two have a really nice gimmick is that they got this port over here, allows them to combine into a bigger gun. Just like that. And voila, here we got the revenge, double revenge. <coughs> and it kind of, it is, it looks really nice in my opinion, really, really nice. And that is basically all his accessory. And I'm moving on to some articulation. To begin with the articulation, I'm going to remove his necklace and also the fusion cannon. And now let's begin. So we begin with the head. He can look up that far and just like that. He can do a full 360. He's on the ball joint. His shoulder can move all the way out and up which is some really nice range of articulation and you can do a full rotation over here. He got a bicep swivel and this is the bed. He got a double bend, double joint elbow, which is really nice. That is thanks to the transformation. And his hand is what surprised me. You got that same transformer hand shape, but then he got, they do what, add a wrist, a wrist rotation over here, which is really impressive and I enjoy that and I wish they could have done that with a lot more figures. And so he got a waist rotation. It is quite tight and somewhat blocked due to the backpack behind. And he got a some some side skirt articulation. And the front section can be moved out for some articulation, but that is not not really necessary. He can kick all the way to the front, kick all the way to the back. Not that much. This is the split, which is really nice. You got a thigh swivel. This is the bend of the knee. That is 90 degree bend. And one thing I really enjoy about this guy is that you got medium section of hollow parts. Just look at that thigh. That is really impressive. And you don't get any toe bend, but you got some pivot. So articulation wise, this guy is really impressive for his size. And I absolutely gonna post this guy a lot because of how great the joint is. They're really tight. And just look at that, I enjoy posing this guy. I absolutely do. But now let's get to some transformation. So to begin with transformation, first up, we remove the fusion cannon. And I'm gonna split it in half right now. There we go, put that aside. And I'm gonna fold in the arms, just like that and bring this section, tap it right there and move this down like that and we're done for the arms do the same thing over here okay, just like that there we go and I'm gonna untap this whole section so this section is tapped in by this tap on there, like that so I'm gonna do is remove it on both sides and come back here and actually bring this down like that so tap it in so there's this tab over here and I can bring this whole section out and open this and you see this whole round section 
you're gonna store the head so I'm gonna will pop up like that and push it like that over here and just make sure thing is snap in and bend it right here so for this section we're gonna bring it out this on the double jointed so it's quite nice so I'm gonna set it up like this and for the leg I'm gonna close up the heels and bring them out like that and this two table two piece here just gonna bring up this form like that and just connect them together and there's this towel here so it's gonna tap this two together as well and then bring them down and this is tap to lock it onto place there we go and I can bring this section section down like that and bring up this supportive heels and I'm gonna bring up the whole leg like that and make sure everything is in line and for this section over here I'm gonna bend them out like that and bring this down and there's this slot here that's gonna use for the tap here tap them in together and do the same thing over here just like that and we're nearly done we are 99 percent done i'm gonna take this matrix and you see this slot over here and I just tap it in like that and i'm gonna bring in the fusion cannon just plug it right here and then with this one plug it here and here we go and so as you can see the transformation is really straightforward yet fascinating i enjoy transforming this guy a lot and i must say that i haven't enjoyed transforming any figures since the studio series hot rod and i mean like look at the size of this guy it's just magnificent and really really nice i enjoy him and I hope that when you guys got this figure, you, you will be enjoying transforming this guy as I do. And now let's get to some details of this guy at his alternate cannon form. So I mean like for the alternate mode, all the details that we have seen is appears into the robot mode but with some new other details such as this side gun over here. I really enjoyed it. It looks like kind of miniaturized missile too. And I enjoy that as well. And the next is that we got some wheels here so to have this guy rolling i'm gonna try to test it out for you guys that is really nice and also at this form we can see some really nice track and some uh, silver painted wheels onto it that this detail is like really hard to see at the robot form so yeah i mean like for a leader class of kingdom i enjoyed this guy a lot actually i enjoyed this guy more than the leader class megatron t-rex so like i really hope that you guys will enjoy him as well gosh i say so much enjoy in this video and one other thing that i really hope to reveal will be the upcoming leader class rodimus prime i really look forward to have that figures in hand and what i do i absolutely will share with you guys first hand so this wrap up my transformer world Cybertron trilogy kingdom leader class gamatron review I hope you guys enjoy this figure as much as I do and also feel free to give me a like and if you are new to the channel subscribe and also follow me on Instagram that is where I do most of my updates and if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link will be in the description below so until now